Oh, hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess, Joel. No hard feelings, right? I didn't think it would make any sense to review this game, considering we reviewed it and all that last year. Uh, but Last of Us Remastered, uh, it's out tomorrow. And uh, you guys got to tool around with it a little bit. Uh, just first impressions, Huber. Like, wh what are you, what are you feeling from from the remaster? Do you, I mean, you pre-ordered it already, I guess. But yeah, I'm a huge fan. But what, what do you think? Does it make a, a big impression on you? So, it's not as big of a jump as say, a PS2 to PS3 HD collection, like God of War HD collection. Like, whoa, you know, going from from standard def to high def, but the 60 frames and just the smoothness and crispness of it all, it's just a, a touched up version. Yeah. So it's not completely game changing. I mean, the 60 frames is a big deal, but initial, initial thoughts are just, you know, someone went through and just touched it up. And yeah, it's just well, I, I thought it was funny because, you know, I, I installed it before you got in, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was just like, even the curtain, like even that little like title screen yeah. thing, you know, over the curtains moving, like, it already looks better. <laughs> yeah. Ben, you only got to play it for a little bit, but what did you... I did. I wish I could have played it a little bit more. Um, and I totally agree with what Huber said. It's, it's a, it's a touched-up version of, of an excellent game, or what some of us think is an excellent game. Ian and Elise would disagree. But uh, I, I was playing it, I was like, this, is, this looks really nice. This is cool. I, I, I'm a big advocate of 60 frames per second, so that's nice. But at the same time, I was thinking, yeah, I don't need to buy this. Like, right. I'm... I had a great experience with the PS3 version, and that version looks really good. Like, it doesn't look this good, but it looks really good, and it runs well. Like, I don't know, what is it, $50 or $60? 50 but... Uh, GameStop's doing a GameStop's thing. GameStop's doing a trade where you can and trade it in. 25 bucks. Yeah, definitely. But even even the 25 bucks, like, I don't know. I don't know right. if I need to... I need to do that. Like, I think I'm kind of okay mm -hmm. with my PS3 version. I think the big, a big <laughs> thing, too, a lot of people, surprisingly, didn't play the DLC. Yes. Which was 10, 10 or 15. Anyway, that's... And the DLC I think it was probably more excellent. than 10. Yeah, I think it was like 15, and yeah. that's included. So, I mean, if I, you I have your old copy and you never played that, it makes perfect sense to trade it in and, and get the PS4 edition. Right, I mean, if, you, if you've never played The Last of Us, this is the best, most definitive way to play yeah. it. Yeah, and sure. now, that's been <laughs> one of the things Sony sort of put out there is that, you know, hey, there's a lot of people that haven't played mm -hmm. The Last of Us. They... You know, either they were, you know, they came into the PS4 from the 360, or, you know, they were just kind of done with their PS3 or whatever, which I, I don't know. That came out in June, and there was a lot of time to play that before the next-gen consoles came out. I mean, do you, do you guys feel like that's a, kind of a, a valid reasoning, or do you, do you think that most of the people picking this up will actually be people that played the game already? I think a bit of both. I mean, I can totally see where they're coming from. A lot of people haven't played it. So why not just put it on? I mean, the team is probably already in place. You know, it costs a lot of money to do an HD collection or an HD upgrade. Or is this even an HD upgrade? No, it was already in <laughs> exactly, HD. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, so. it, it's higher. <laughs> I think. I mean, they went from 720 to 1080. Is that right? Yeah. The so. thing that you were saying that that I didn't get to test out, but could make a huge impact. Like the jump from 30 to 60 in single player is nice, but yeah. that's even more important in, in multiplayer. multiplayer yeah. So you know, if you enjoy the Last of Us multiplayer and you are going to be playing it a lot, that's maybe this upgrade mm -hmm. uh, yeah. seems more significant, I guess. Which we you. haven't actually had a chance to play multiplayer right. because <clears throat> the yeah the pre just, pre release build doesn't have the multiplayer function for us. Mm -hmm. And just some smaller things for you know, if you're a huge fan of Last of Us, like I didn't think photo mode would be cool and I started messing around with that and that was just really fun. I kept pausing the game every like five or ten minutes to just make some really cool photo in the game and then the commentary. I'm sure that'll be online but being able to play through the entire game with commentary from the directors, from the actors, that's, I mean that's really cool. I might play the entire Did game. Did you actually listen to some of that yet? I have not. Yeah, I'd be so. curious to see what kind of insights there was because there's an article mm -hmm. going around that I passed to you guys today you know, where they were talking about, yeah, like how some of those gameplay decisions played into the final chapters of the game and all that. And it's just really kind of interesting. That it's like, oh, we, you know, the ending of our game isn't quite there yet, and so let's throw in these other factors, mm -hmm. um, you know, to make it feel like you're actually, you know, involved and actually in the story and not just watching it. Mm -hmm. Do you think 50 is too much? Because I am a huge, 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 huge fan of Last of Us. And I'm definitely going to pick it up, 
and I can't wait to play it, but there's still this lingering doubt in my in the pit of my stomach that's like 50 like geez i really so, don't want to spend i'm really glad you brought that i actually don't think that's too much i i feel like that seems silly to me that a game would depreciate that much but i do think that this kind of cross gen thing you know they were good about it like at launch yeah. mm -hmm. like so if you bought the ps3 version of battlefield or assassins or whatever you could upgrade to the PS4 yeah. version for like a small fee. Mm -hmm. They should have had some yeah. kind of program like that for Last of Us. I, it does feel, for anyone that's actually played the game, especially if you played the game multiple times, mm -hmm. right. like to invest as if it were a new game, yeah. that feels a little bit like a ripoff. You know, like you're double dipping on, you know, my fandom, basically. Yeah. Pretty Whereas, well. you know, <laughs> if you're buying it fresh, then yeah, it's absolutely worth $50. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a tough question, and I'm coming from the perspective of someone who has played it multiple times. Where I I actually disagree. I think fifty is a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. If it was even ten dollars less, forty I would think, be the sweet spot. I think I would be uh, a little bit more uh, inclined. I I just to me fifty dollars for a game that came out last year one year ago for a, a better version, but it doesn't like if it had I don't know an extra chapter or something meaningful. I but just, it does. Does it, it has left left behind, which would no, have been, no, 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 no. I know, I know. It something has something that was previously like, like, specifically new. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually think it's something we've kind of gotten away with 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 remakes. I feel like back in the day, uh, when you would remake a game or you would do a new version of a game, you would get like an extra dungeon or a thing like that. And I, I that probably makes a little bit less sense mm -hmm. uh, with a game that's so reliant on story, but. Yeah, I think I think fifty dollars is is too much. So close to the original release, mm -hmm. with with just most of the enhancements being uh, frame rate and, and graphics. And, it, and it's <laughs> funny looking back at these HD collections from PlayStation Two and from Xbox to Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty and PlayStation Three. These HD collections, it's like those were a huge difference going from standard def to high def. And now that we're in this high definition era, it's like. Are we gonna start getting like Beyond Two Souls is already announced? That's right. probably yeah. gonna be like well, fifty. Well, the other the other difference being what God of War Saga was what five games, <laughs> right? And I think it was sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was sixty dollars. I think it, it was, was even like, less. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it was like forty dollars. I and that included that. God of War Three, which you know, right? That that's, was a big big deal. I think that's that's kind of my thing. And the other issue that I have, and this is me extrapolating a little bit, is I feel like. In some ways, these new systems have a little bit less of an identity to me than, than maybe they should because I, I feel like they're so reliant on these HD remakes. And they're, they're remaking excellent games. I, I really love The Last of Us. I really like Halo. It's cool that they're coming out with all the Halo games on the Xbox One, but if they just keep doing this over and over again, like if we have a Fable collection, yeah. if we have, um, you know, if they do Infamous 1 and 2 on PS4 mm -hmm. or something like that, like, I just don't want to keep playing the same great games and over Halo, and over again. Halo well, is so weird, too, because they already had Halo 1 anniversary. Halo 3 and 4 were already HD. So it's like, yeah, you're getting Halo 2. But right. you, do you have to buy that entire pack to get an HD version of oh, Halo yeah, 2? Yeah. But, yeah, I, I mean, I think, I think maintaining a back catalog and making sure those games are available to play on current hardware is fine. But it, especially with something like Master Chief Collection, it, it's made such a big deal. Mm -hmm. That it's like, you know what, guys, this shouldn't take up like one of your key holiday slots. Right. This is just back catalog. And just something that I really wish would become a trend that absolutely won't, like Bayonetta 2, including Bayonetta 1. That's so cool. That's great. Yeah. Like that, that I, I already am going to be interested in Bayonetta 2 because I think it's probably going to be a great game, but that gives me even more incentive. And if, like, it's just such a consumer friendly approach mm -hmm. that. I really wish other people would take notice of. Unfortunately, Bayonetta 2 being on the Wii U probably will not sell enough for other people to go like, oh, hey, this is maybe a good idea. Okay. And just building on what you were saying about... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> we, we got, let's wrap things up, though. Um, just, there needs to be a loyalty program, is just what I wanted to say. Yeah. Like, like you were saying about Battlefield early, early adopters for PS4, just having that small upgrade fee. That's how it should be for all games. Totally. If you own the previous version, just, totally. just have some kind yeah. of loyalty. Well, system. yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of that yeah. stuff around. You know, like your virtual console, you have to buy it on 3DS and then Wii U and all that stuff. That, but, oh uh, my god. Don't <laughs> yeah, but real quick, that's a whole other so, so before we leave, was there anything that you saw, like a room or, or 
any like particular moment that just popped out at you as being like, well, this is cool to see now that was different? Uh, actually, yeah, one moment. Uh, you're with Tess and you're going through, you're going outside of the zone and you come up in a diner and that's when I s just stopped and I looked because everything on the screen just popped out at you. All the, the, the booths and, and the trash on the ground and everything you can read, fine print everywhere. The sunshine was coming through, trees everywhere. It was, it looks really good. <laughs> I want to, you know, that, that scene with the, when you first see the drafts and they're walking across, like I want to see that, that yeah. in Reactor, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and, and when we noticed too, there's kind of, it felt like there was more depth to like the mm -hmm. cloud of spores coming out of a room or something too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely, it's really nice. Huber's gonna buy it. Uh, I might play a little bit of, kind of your of. copy, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if I'll play through the game again since I've already played through it twice. But good talking to you guys about it. Yeah.